Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Monday, October the 8th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of the Trading Room. Any questions for me, you can use this email address. This is a link to get into our free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our room. I open the room at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen and get live on the mic at about 9.05. Go to 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and 3 o'clock on Fridays. This is a link for a subscription. There is a promo code there for an instant 15% off. That's 15% off the first month of a standard or a premium subscription or the entire year of a standard or premium subscription. All right, well, a little bit of a different one today because what I want to do, first of all, I just want to sh show you one thing, why you should never, ever, ever turn your back on some of these uh, low float stocks. So, you know, all last week or the last little while, let me just uh, show you on the time, on the daily, you know, what did it do? It got all the way up to 36.31 on um, September the 20th, all right? So we're now October the 8th, and of course it sank, 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 sank. Now, on Friday it had a decent day. It, it looked like it finally was wanting to pop off that uh, low, and it certainly did. And in the pre-market today, it kept moving higher. There's the after hours on Friday, that uh, move area. The pre-market is the tan area. And then at nine o'clock, before the market opened, they announced the financing, and look what happened. And the financing is around five. Well, it's at five dollars and forty cents, and that's what can happen. So, you know, I was I was watching this, and I was thinking, hmm, do I want to chase this? But what I had done is I put an alert up here near the high of the pre-market. Thought, okay, if it takes that out once the market opens, it may give us a bit of a uh, trade. But look what happened. So that's why you just cannot take your eyes off of stocks that are such a low float. This only has about 1.2 million shares in the float so um, just a word to the wise all right do not go away on some of these now a bit of a different uh, day for me in terms of what I was trading because finally and I'm not sure when it will be available to everybody but the ability to have all three Holly options open at the same time let me just Hopefully this still remains. So you see what we're able to do now. So there's the Holly Grail, there's Holly 2.0, and there's Holly Neil. All right, so now, and I'm not sure when this is going to happen. Uh, Dan Merkin showed up in the room today, probably sooner than later. Certainly by the end of the month. I mean, when we have our test drive, I'm 100% sure that this uh, feature will be available so that you can have all three versions of Holly open at the same time. So it's pretty exciting for me because now, um, I won't miss some of the lower price stocks that, that I'm uh, more interested in Holly. Now somebody asked me, well, how do you, how, how do you use Holly? Well, using Holly is, is entirely up to you. How I like to use it is looking at the stocks that are a little bit cheaper, uh, certainly probably under $20, just, just because you know, I'm finding, of course, that those can give me the bigger bang for the buck in terms of a percentage move. Now, some of you like to play the more expensive stocks. So the, the bottom line is now is that we won't miss any. I mean, for, for the last uh, couple of months, it's been a little bit frustrating because, you know, depending on which holly you had open, you might miss, you might miss one that's in the other holly that would have been something that you might want to have what might wanted to have traded so now uh, so I concentrated more on all these Hollies today didn't really trade very much else and uh, so going forward it's going to be a little bit exciting now I think that what down the road, and again, I have no idea when that could be, is we'll actually be able to maybe filter on price so that you'll only see those alerts in the price range that you want. But right now, it's not so bad. I mean, you can, you know, you can see, you can see everything as they're coming in. You can see the price immediately in each one of them and just uh, pick and choose which one you want. As always, though, uh, just because you get an alert doesn't mean you absolutely take the trade right off the bat. For me, anyway, I have to look at the daily chart, see what sort of support and resistance there is, and uh, from there, I'll make a decision. I did take a couple of them. Um, OPK was one of them. Let's see if this is, uh, just a second here, I wanna see. I know the alert came at a, uh, right around here, at 3.58, it was a modest, just modest uh, win. And the other one, I think, was ACRX. No, it was, um, sorry, AKR, no, was, was it? Oh, I'm sorry, GTXI. 
No, I'm wrong. It is a, I think it is. I just have to find them. That's going to be the challenge also because now, of course, I have th four more windows to track because before I only was able to look at the open and close of one of the Hollies at any one time. Now, of course, I have six windows. I have the open and close for each one of them. So now it's a matter of, uh, you know, fitting them in an area which is going to be very uh, easy for me to, to follow. And just trying to find which one it was. Isn't that crazy? I can't seem to find it. Just a second here. Yeah, it was ACRX. I'm sorry, it was ACRX. That's right. And it got as high as, uh, so I think the alert, I took it just over 3, 302 or so. And it got up to here. And then, you know, it, it did fall down afterwards. In fact, I was even looking at shorting this one. Um, this is one of those ones that is available to short at Interactive Brokers. Don't typically short these cheap ones, but uh, we'll see if it takes this out. This had news in the pre-market that looked good. The market reacted well, uh, but once the market opened, it, it dropped. But then Holly looked at this and, and gave a nice alert there. Now, one of the alerts that I missed, mainly because I was, I was tracking it like mad right here. If you take a look at it on the to back this out just a little bit so the alert came right there from holly I was watching this one this is one of the brazilian stocks a lot of the brazilian stocks were popping this morning based on the elections yesterday and i was watching this one i really like this one this is in my price range that i like to trade and unfortunately i was waiting for it to get into the 20s and unfortunately it moved too quickly i mean this this move this is a 15 minute, this is a five minute. This moves so quickly and I just couldn't get my uh, my entry the way I wanted to, but this was really an excellent alert for that from that one, um, from the Holly, I think it was Holly Grail in fact. But anyway, going forward, it's going to be pretty exciting, I think, to be able to have them all open at the same time. You can kind of pick, if you have a price range or you like to trade, uh, you'll be able now to see everything all at once. And then it's, you know, it's up to you to make, to make a decision uh, whether or not you want to trade it, of course, so. So I just want to shut the, this down now. We'll get back into the room, bring back the capture program, and any questions for me? And and I go. I know what the main question is going to be. When is this going to be available to everybody? I really don't know, but obviously the fact that I have it means it's going to be released. I would certainly within this month. There's no question. I think they just wanted to make sure that everything was was working right. As far as I'm concerned, it was. Um, you know the the. the all of them were populating uh, when, when they were supposed to, and I think they were closing out when they were supposed to. So I think I think it is working uh, correctly, but you know, probably a few more days to test and make sure. So any questions for me, you can use this email address. Again, this is a link to get into our free room, 100% free, no strings attached. We don't ask for a credit card or anything. Basically, you just create a, a password, and that's it, one time, and then gets you into our free trading room. I'll open the room tomorrow at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time. So hope everybody has a great evening, and we'll see you in the training room tomorrow. Bye-bye.